In this tutorial, I will show you how to customize your PayHip store to make it unique. Hi and welcome to this channel. As you can tell, I have added a product and I set up the checkout, which is the payment. I need to customize my store. I advise you watch the PayHip tutorial before this, but if you've done it already, that's fine. Let's get started. First, click on customize design. I have two products. This is by default the about me section. Under your home page, you have header. Let's get started with header store logo. Click on it. Choose store logo. I have the name of the store as my logo. So if I want to change it, I'll choose store logo. Click on it. Upload logo. All right. I'll click on it and oh, this is it. The name is gone. Choose this image. Change go up. I'm going to increase the size a bit because it looks small. It's hard to see, but that's fine it's up to you to adjust it the way you want then i'm gonna save changes your changes have been saved but please don't forget this publish you always have to publish the changes then continue editing all right so i'm gonna go back i'm done with the logo go back all right done we go to navigation these are the navigations i have shop contact all right and the search the personal profile and the checkout I don't like this one, but later I'll work on it. Let's work on it. Navigation links, edit navigation. Let's check the store. We have the shop, which is our close it and contact. There's nothing here to change. And let's say if I want to add something like, let's say blog, I will click on add new link and I'll type here blog and I'm going to pick click here and I'll pick it and I'll pick like blog, but I don't have blog. There is no point in doing that. Because if I add blog link and there's no blog, it wouldn't make sense. I'll just set it off. But in my next tutorial, like I said, I'll show you how to blog on this platform. But now let's keep going. I'll leave things the way it is right now. I'll close this. Go back because I didn't edit anything really. Go back. Heather settings. Scroll down. Heather width. Let's see. There's nothing here to worry about go back announcement bar check the boss show announcements see the bar is showing so let's say three days sale uh, and i'll say 50 percent 50 percent off stuff like that if you want a link let's say i want to promote this one i'll right click then copy link address and drop it here but I don't, let's say I'll copy, click here and paste it. This is the product link, which means a sale on this one only. But if I don't and I take it off, but I have to make sure everything is on sale, right? That's the announcement bar, but I'll take it off. And if you want all page alone, fine. But if you are promoting something, it's better you keep it on all pages. I'll take it off. Yeah. And discard changes because I don't want to save it. Then go to your element, show call to action button. If you want call to action, you click on it. It should pop. Yeah. And it depends on the color that you want. Let's say if you have a brand color like blue, then you have to use blue. If you have black and yellow, then you have to go accordingly. This will be all products. Or if you have a specific product that you want to link to, let's say I'll S off and I'll choose whichever section i want to link it to and it's always good to have it on all products click outside and i'll take it off and i'll click it on it again yes it's gonna come I'll, all product let me discard and go back again let's go back to element this is not wordpress whereby you can do many things at the same time sometimes you have to go back click one more time and see it's back to change the color Let's keep moving button style click on primary uh, let me see secondary how it's gonna look this is the secondary i think it's then it's gonna blend with the background color or if not you can bring it back then keep going then show search icon which is this one it's good because in case let's say a return customer comes to your site to download a particular product buy a particular product search for an article it's gonna be helpful let's keep it on show card this is the card add card but this i don't know why it's there anyways i'll leave it on for maybe because i'm in the editing editing mode let's say if i don't want to show the card 
I will say no, then it's gonna go. See, it's gone. But I want it there because if, let's say, for instance, I have a prospect or a customer wanna buy both, it's gonna be easy for that customer. I'll keep it yes. If you don't want the search, repeat same, then it's gone. But let's keep it on. Like I said, it's good. Apart from that, there's nothing to worry about here. Save changes. Then we're gonna have to publish because I made some changes. I have to visit your store, continue editing. Let me click here at collection page. When you scroll down, in future when you build blogs and stuff like that, everything will be here. Right, the product is here custom pages will be here let's say if i want to build a custom page i'll click here and i'll add it then it's gonna be live right here let's say legal pages if i add legal pages it's gonna show up here and what else but you can play with it if you are using payhip to sell digital products you don't need to do much all you need is this two plus your blog page i'll scroll down click outside inside here then after we're gonna go back because there's nothing more to worry about oh you know what show call to action button i wish i can change the color but i know you can but for let me take it off because i don't want it it's gone i will save and when it's done i'm gonna publish live publish live because i'm done with it continue editing let's go back and go let me check the header settings and see what's going on go back for instance if you want to change the header layout you click here and let's say you want right we have this if you want this way click on it and see the elements are here if you want in the middle if you want then like that then you keep going but i'll go with the traditional style and i'll close it and i'll go back sorry this card i don't want to change let's scroll down this card i'm done with the header section i hope everything is clear i'll go back i'm gonna go to collection like i showed you earlier on these are the, the collection ratios and adaptation basically you don't need to do anything really option will automatically scale to the correct size for each image which is this one i think the adaptation is better because if you change it's gonna look weird later on when you begin to build a lot like stuff here let me change to this one and see let's see this one see it change let's standard see it don't look nice four three let's see four three it's gonna be four then in three row but later when you have more come and work it out i'll go with the adaptation i'll leave it like that show price yeah if you want to show price yes but if you don't want to you're gonna take price off and you can tell as you can see the prices are gone there are no more prices you're gonna have to put it back yes then number of columns on desk four is gonna be one two three four i'll leave it like that for like when you don't have enough it's always good to leave it like that the spacing let me see 50 if i move it to 50 like 57 or something then more space i'll push it back to 40 hopefully i'll get 40. oh no on this see i'll do 50 for number of columns on mobile let's see i think on mobile one is because if you do two it's gonna look weird let's leave it like that then background color this one is full width or insect let me do insect and see full width background skin then you can change it to whatever you want as you can tell it has changed the whole thing let's do dark no i don't want this let's do this i'll go back to the white but if you have a code like a color code you can edit i don't want that when all is done go up click save changes your changes have been saved and please don't forget to publish continue i'm done with this section i'm gonna go back it's time to do the about me i'm gonna replace the about me what i'm gonna do i'll upload my image let me try and grab one of my images for 
tutorial replace upload click on it open this is me for those of you who don't know well i used to show my face on my tutorials but i've realized when it comes to editing there's too much work and i decided to go off screen or faceless if you want free images you can go to the stock library and choose images that you want but it's always good to show your face or use your brand logo choose this image then i'm gonna go down if you want to edit the image you have to choose the image then you can scroll down to do whatever you have to because if you click publish that means you are done the about me let's see what i can do all right so i'm gonna copy the about me on my channel then after i will edit it Control c to copy go back and i will delete everything right click paste as plain text man that's a lot that's a lot what i'll do i need to reduce this i'll reduce the rest take it off this is what i came out with the blogzone store is dedicated to entrepreneurs passionate about digital marketing reviews and selling digital products i'll keep it like that then keep going show follow button yes which is this that's if i want to show follow button right now. let me take this off and see take it off yeah then social media yes image shape circle yeah i think circle is good i like the circle i don't like the square i don't like it i like the circle but it's too big i wish i can reduce the size primary button i don't know which button I took off the button let's keep going link your facebook instagram and other social media pages please visit your store i'm gonna visit it later let me see let's go up save changes and publish continue go back we're gonna go to if you wanna add a section let's say you wanna add a carousel in between or adventure section or something sorry add and i'll click on it again i'll save it i don't want to publish it then i'll go back then guess what i'll move it like that sorry i'll move it slowly like that see i prefer this way this is the best way to do it and then i have to type stuff down here i need to type stuff and what i'll do at the end i'll link it i'll link this button to my product page but i don't want to do that so take it off delete section yes that's how you do it or that's how it goes then last but not least is the footer footer you have simple then columns will leave things the way it is mostly like with footers i don't like messing up with it when i click here this is the footer when i click see and by the way when you are selling product online you always have to make sure there is a privacy policy gdpr eu vat sell digital download and all these uh, disclaimers you need to have this if not once you connect your domain you have to make sure you have your own legal page or something like you're gonna add it here that will be like a page that's when you connect your custom domain but anyhow let's keep moving right i'm using the free version this will be my disclaimer the privacy policy and all these things because if you don't have this, you cannot sell in Europe or people cannot buy in Europe and all that. But this is normal stuff. All right, so add navigation link, add. All right, so if you wanna add another link up here, like a blog, you can add it or whatever you want. For format, under advanced format, you have the test, small, medium, large and stuff like that. I'll keep things the way it is. I don't like messing up with footer stuff show element this is the footer show payment icon i don't want to show it here show social icons yes let me show it at the end they should show up when all right show showing social icon but you don't see it right here powered by pay hip yes section height 20 column let's see custom yeah i'll leave it to custom because we are customizing things custom section height which one is that let's see it's 20 but sorry it didn't say it. yeah it's becoming too much see this is not good you don't want that keep pushing it push it yeah i think let me see if we can see everything down here no i'll push it back to 20. go up and save changes 
with the social icon you see it after no no color scheme yeah let me see dark i guess i want it like this and even up here i wish i can turn it to black but it's i'll leave it like that yeah i'll leave it like that for that's why it's customized you can do whatever you want save changes yeah go back all right let me publish the changes continue scroll down all right you are currently editing this collection this i don't want to touch in the collection section like i said when in future when i add blog and other stuff yeah i'll work on it and change style store style let's see this font all these things let me see advance what they have in there yeah that's go back yeah you, you have to play with this thing a lot like i don't know if this thing look cool you know what let me color i'll go to the normal white yeah save sometimes it's good you keep uh, things by default but like i said you can change it let me go back and let's see let me go to folder again i need to check something for socials social icon let's see what's in there let me find out about the social icons let's go back we're trying to exit i'm gonna go up now click on the menu exit store builder all right this is the menu then you exit yeah i started this thing and i don't have sales yet but there's some traffic coming in all right so let me visit my stores by the way please don't forget to check out uh, some of my products and buy it to support me and thank you in advance the way to help me out let me go check my store and see how it looks then i will block storm i will change this to block storm enter bam this is how it looks like far okay if it looks plain and simple that's why i want to change this to black like the top up here i don't know if it's gonna make a difference because it looks too plain but anyhow you saw what i did that's how you play with this thing this is the end of the tutorial i would advise you play with it and do your thing thanks for your time please if you find value don't forget to like comment and also you can show me love by clicking on the link in the description box to buy your brother a tea or coffee by downloading one of the products i wish you all the best take time and have a wonderful day